Oh, D-Day. I'm hoping to give it a wash quick. Oh, check. She's all right. I'm going to give her a wash quick. I've got time. I've just got that idler of grease. I've done the ank mo. So, we'll see. Check her water. Yeah, plenty of water. And we'll see. Do a start for you. Got her washed. Just been going around greasing her up, cleaned inside a bit. About ready. I just need to wipe the windows and mirrors quick. But we're going to talk about this track system. They're driven from the front, and um, what's quite good with these tracks are a bit of a pain in mind here. If you notice, narrower, wider, wider. Wider, wider still, wider still, and even wider till it gets to the bottom. And what that does, it's like a self cleaning system. So they open up and the muck gets thrown off, and then you've got a clean, you've got a clean cleat all the time underneath. And the other thing being driven from the top, obviously, this one's tensioned, and this one's slack, so it follows the ground contours um, we've had a, these modified these are metal but we've had these boxes they used to have rubber blocks in there so they were a thing but we've had them solid and they've been made up with Dowdswell pins I believe and bushes and it's, it's made it a bit better I've had a idlers drop off and all sorts these ones drop off um, they're, they're not they're not the strongest in the world. They could do with being a bit better. Um, I think she's about there, really. I'll uh, I'll do a time lapse to the field because it'll take ages. <laughs> um, yeah, it begins. I think I'm working a bit of future beat land down just to knock the top because it you know, it's been going like concrete in us in the spring. So that's the that's the plan. Well, uh, we'll get a bit more. Hopefully, it's fit to go. We're going to try it today. I hope so. See why we're doing it, get rid of that trash. Don't we? Right. Come on, in you two. Just need to do this back. There we go.
All this is, is a, an old knife arrow. I think it's 1980s. Uh, let's try it. Loads and throttle, two levers. Let's see how we're going. I'm hoping you lot can see. Yeah, 
We're not keen in any of these battles. Oh, yeah, I am, I don't care. Now they're here. Flicker about the ground. Grab another bow. Flicker up a gear. That will be the exhaust there, roughly. Stay in here kids, we'll walk you in a bit. 
I'm a boot off man. I'm trying to keep the carpet clean. Well, what's in there? Look. Oh, GoPro clip. Get some outside shots. Well, don't look bad, does it? That soon simmer out that bit of wet there. The old frost moulds there, isn't it? If you can see. Hopefully, it'll get rid of some of that trash. Looks well. I love driving the thing. It's a bit different. It breaks down a lot. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've had nearly every hydraulic pipe underneath now to the to the track motors. The ank motors you got to keep on top of them. They soon eat bearings and stuff. Um, give it a wash. You don't look too bad. This sounds lovely. We'll get some go. Uh, GoPro action next, clip it on the side and that, have some fun. I'll try and keep you going on the El Maruca updates and that because I think some people are generally dead interesting. Good vibes obviously, I don't want any uh, idiots and stuff but they seem alright at the moment. Um, yeah, here we go.
Right, gear tool around the cab. These are your directional and speed control levers for each track. Um, light switches, indicator, headlights. Um, hours, and they make sense. A HST I found out means you've got no hydraulic pressure. Anyway, on here, I have no idea what some of these mean. That's PTO. That, that means it's T-brake. That means your fan's too close to the ground. And I don't know what that means. Water temp, that works. That symbol means handbrake because it is definitely not a light switch because I turned it on in the dark and I headed that way very quickly plus my dinner bag, the dog and everything got twin wipers that's your ILO for speed and then come across here and we've got a toggle switch for up and down this is a position control and this is I think clearly marked there and clearly it means I don't know and then you got in here um yeah i'll leave that to you you know but um we've got a bit of help but that help pto and then it's got three spools radio aircon heater um down here these, um, you can make it double acting and lock the lift up as well. So you can have double acting on the back. Uh, on the outside, it's got a standard three point hitch, really. It's not the strongest in the world. And then on here, we've got these can order your hydraulic low, right, left hand link and lift it up and down as well for you long as you've got the Japanese symbols lined up in there as as well as out here it's like that game you, where you match up them symbols um, apart from that that is it how to control it um, did just want to add something it should be in here uh, Here it is. Um, I've got these off Lord Mook, and he, he's doing it for the um, for the dog charity, the sheep dog charity. Um, and you know, I've got a cup and this sticker. Just check his channel out, and you'll see a bit about it. I think he's giving away a Fordson Major if you get a uh, if you get a T-shirt. So. Um, I'll see you in a bit. Well, we're in another field. Got that one done. Gonna have half an hour in here. I'll bring you for the ride as well. See, I think you can see the controls here. Yeah. I think there's a wire in the way. Hang on, let's get out of the way. If you're wondering how I can see, I've got it on the phone. Oh, the wind of 